How you going? I just thought I'd have a chat about uh, Jeremy Griffith's uh, biologist statements about we can't live in harmony with gum trees. For a professor, I would have to say that would be one of the most ridiculous, stupid, insane ideas I have ever heard. Gum trees are native to Australia. Koalas are native to Australia. The animals that live off the gum trees are native to Australia. And we bulldoze billions of acres to allow for housing, construction, cities, etc. And here we have someone who allegedly is a book writer and a biologist and someone who's supposed to be respected in our community. Well, I can tell you now, Jeremy, I'm one guy who you just lost every bit of respect and thought and the, the belief that I have that you came out and said we need to get rid of gum trees because of their, they're the devil dressed up in trees. Get a life. This is Australia. Yes, we have bushfires. Yes, we have droughts. So what are you going to say when we have the next drought? Oh, I think we need to empty the ocean and turn it all into fresh water. It's just bloody ridiculous for someone with, uh, with the education you've got to come out and say you want to get rid of gum trees in Australia. Mate, if you don't like the gum trees, move to the desert. You know, you'll get dust storms. You'll get a bit of rain and flooding every now and then. But at least you'll be away from the gum trees and you can put your petty little minute brain into focus of the sexual mating habits of the micro ant that lives in the desert. And just grow a brain, mate. You know, koalas and, you know, we destroy the koalas wildlife here in Australia like no tomorrow. And now that with the devastating bushfires, all the rubbish is clean. The trees can now start regrowing. The koalas can now start rebuilding. You know, and here you are now talking about devastating their habitat yet again. And here we are in a world of protests and demonstrations about climate change and you want to destroy the gum trees, which are holding the carbon that reduces carbon in the atmosphere, gives animals a home for the ones that we allow to have a home, that we don't destroy their habitats and kill off the animals in the process. Because you're not allowed to feed native animals, of course, because some idiot in the high food command says oh don't feed the wild animals you know you, you'll give them you'll, they'll make them dependent on you but well, we destroyed their habitat we destroyed their food we destroyed their water sources we bury creeks and underneath buildings like they did down here in the Gabba three meter creek in an old bunya forest is now underneath a concrete bloody waterway you know and then you turn around and say oh let's take another habitat oh bugger it let's just make koalas extinct and while we're at it we'll we'll make possums extinct and it's better still let's just kill every living animal on the planet and then hopefully we can live in harmony with the planet because we'll have no trees we'll have uh you know grass burns too you know maybe we should get rid of all the grass this is just a ridiculous statement you know dead wood burns how about we do a clean up Australia Day and we collect all the dead wood out of the forest, you know, it's just ridiculous, you just come across an insane idiot, I just got no time for people like you, 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 get, you just want your name in the media to be all publicised, say, oh, I'm Jeremy Griffith, you know, you're a wanker, mate, seriously, it's just ridiculous for you to come out and say things like that, that's my opinion, leave your opinions down below, do you think we should destroy every gum tree in Australia because they're, they're, they're highly flammable? But so are pine trees, and we've got pine forests, but we need them for wood. But, you know, let's just destroy them too. So leave your comments below, like and share. But this is out for you, Jeremy. I think you're a wanker and an idiot.